for you. What are you up to? Uh, I got a new movie project. A uh, duck, a uh, shark, action! It'll be even cooler than Jaws! Sam, that's an age-old story, and our camera is not designed for underwater shooting! Uh, <laughs> I wasn't going to shoot underwater. Like, so how can I create a super thriller if I can't shoot underwater? I'll never become a new Tarantino or Spielberg! Wait a moment, Mr. Director. I've got a cool idea. We can arrange underwater shooting without water! Hi guys! I bet you know that sometimes they don't use location filming in movies. Sue, why didn't you tell me before I nearly drowned our camera? Well, I couldn't reveal all the secrets of filmmaking. Now is the right time. I want to make an impressive explosion. Sammy, don't blackmail me. Actually, my secret is a diorama. Right? Diorama? So simple? Uh-uh, not that simple. We'll have many stages to prepare. This one, for example. I'm gonna make the sea surface using this modeling clay. There we go. Why is the sea surface on the bottom? Because first the diorama will be upside down. Later we'll set everything right. These are our future waves. See? It's like when you dive head down and then come up with your head up? Well, something like that. Now I'm making smaller waves with a special tool, sea ripples. Carefully, move smoothly, as if you're spreading your peanut butter on a piece of bread. There! The base of the sea surface is almost ready. For the next step, we'll need our clay to set. Let's use our crafting time machine. Oh. It's set. Now let's apply some Vaseline to the surface. We are going to cover the clay with glue using our trusty hot glue gun. Vaseline will keep the layers from sticking to each other. La -da, da 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 Sammy, bring me the glue gun. I'm going to need it now. Oh, that's my favorite tool, the tool of art. <laughs> yep, it's loaded with pure inspiration. <laughs> Shaping the clay was just a preparatory stage. The key figure of this part of the craft is the glue gun. Here we go. We need to cover the whole clay mold with glue. But be very careful working with this tool. The glue gun is very hot. You better ask an adult to help you with this craft. Done! Now we need to remove these tiny air bubbles. We'll use a blow dryer to do that. Two, I'm still thinking about the storyline of my future movie. Yeah, got something interesting? I'll be happy to hear your idea. Yes! I've come up with an extra twisted storyline. The shark is approaching the duck, and then the aliens appear and save our life! <laughs> oh, that's rather hard to shoot, Sammy. We'll use special effects. Hmm. By the way, the first special effects in movies were miniatures, like this very diorama we're making. It was invented back in 1902. Can you believe that? And we're still using this technology in 2020. Carefully bend the masking tape this way. I also know you've mastered all those YouTube technologies. And you can hit the button and give a thumbs up really fast. Let's strengthen the mold with some more hot glue. Phew! Check out the vapor! It's becoming hot. Don't forget to glue the side parts of the mold, too. This way, the epoxy resin won't leak. For the next step, we need Vaseline again. It will prevent the epoxy from sticking to the mold. I finished making the mold. Now I'm going to prepare our main movie star. No, not Sammy. <laughs> Here comes the most interesting part! Lights, camera, action! The shark scene! <laughs> I 
We've already drilled a hole in our toy shark. Now I'm putting this wooden stick through it. Sammy, can you bring the epoxy resin and blue dye while I'm preparing our actress? Blue like the deep blue sea? Exactly, like the sea where a scary shark is hiding. Is this enough? Enough for now. What about the dye? I remember. Here you are. Thanks. Oh, by the way, how's it going with the screenplay? I've got it all figured out. The aliens save the duck, and it goes to their planet with them. Wow, go on. And then it turns out to be a planet of sharks. Whoa. But they're friendly, and they don't understand the sharks from the Earth who hunt ducks. I don't know how to end this story. Oh, but that's what you should have started with. The ending is a very important part of the movie, so think carefully, Sammy. We need to wait four hours before pouring the next layer. Our shark is going deeper and deeper. Classic. Let's wait four more hours. Glug, glug, glug. We're diving into the ocean of the epoxy. I could watch the resin pouring out forever. Oh, it's relaxing somehow. <laughs> Do you agree, guys? I made each next layer darker than the previous one. This way we can create the illusion of depth. I finally came up with an idea for the ending. Very interesting, I'm all years. The duck comes back to Earth and warns everyone that there's an alien Megalodon living in the sea. People don't believe it, but one mermaid does. She wants to stop Megalodon. <laughs> Sammy, it's already a whole series. <laughs> series? Susie, that's awesome. I'm gonna make a TV series. Oh no, I guess I just placed a new genius idea into Sam's head. <laughs> but while he's taken with it, I can finish the craft in peace. Be very careful with this next step, guys. Ask an adult to help you. While you can subscribe and hit the bell. This way our new videos will fly directly into your gadget. Whoa, check this out. Beautiful, right? Give a thumbs up. Sue, I think we need some gloss. I agree. Let's add some polish. Guys, it's better to work with varnish in a well-ventilated space or even outside. Here's the second character. Hmm, I've got a better idea. Let's add a surfer on the waves. What thing? I'll have to modify the whole script. Well, maybe the aliens can save this guy from the jaws of the Megalodon too? Uh, interesting. And voila! Our star is all dressed up, ready for shooting. Let's glue it to our filming location. Sammy, get the cam! I've got everything ready! And action! Come in peace. Perfect. Cut. That will be genius. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye. If you liked our craft, give a thumbs up. Hi, guys. Today we're going to make an amazing picture of the sea. Hi, everyone. Sammy, why did you bring a palette and paint? Huh? And how are we going to draw without paint? So I'm surprised at you. Oh, Sammy, we don't need paint. We'll make a panel of epoxy resin. Epoxy resin? Does this mean that my preparations were for nothing? Sammy, I'm sure you'll be fascinated by...
by the epoxy resin art. Guys, you'll definitely need to try this at home. It's very easy, even if you're a beginner. Fine, Sue, so tell me more about that epoxy resin. Well, it is a special polymer used for resin art, creating jewelry and even furniture. Mixed with a hardener, it becomes solid so you have limited time to finish your artwork. Huh, but it's absolutely transparent! How are we gonna create the sea with it? We'll use pigments for that. By mixing them with the epoxy resin, you can get any color you want. Now you're joking, RC will look so real that you'll be able to actually feel the breeze! <laughs> well, we'll see. First, let's recall the safety measures while working with these materials. Okay, Susie, I'm ready to take notes. We should do everything properly. It's all quite simple. We'll need a respirator and nitrile gloves. Luckily, I'm a slime and don't need measures like that, but you guys should be careful. And only work in a well-ventilated space. So now we're ready to start. This is our artboard for epoxy resin. Looks good, huh? And it's already protected from staining. It's easy to use the tape, guys, but be careful and don't wrap yourself up like I once did. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy always does his best, don't you agree? Let's place the artboard on a stand made of these glasses. Perfect. We'll use a cup and scales to measure the ingredients. Fill the measuring cup with epoxy resin just like this. Guys, read the instructions carefully to use the right proportions. Wow, it's so syrupy, mesmerizing. I think that'll be enough. It's time to add some hardener. Pour it slowly in a trickle. All right, just like this. Sammy! Yeah, you little hobo, what is it? It's time to mix the resin with the hardener. Oopsie, I thought I closed my eyes for just a second. Is something stuck to my back? Hey, can you see? <laughs> sure. Ugh. Oh, it's a wooden stick. That's just what we needed right now. All right, you should mix it right away to prevent it from warming up for five to seven minutes. Then pour it into another cup and mix again for two minutes more. Right you are. Let's do that. Guys, you might want to ask an adult to help you with this craft. Feel free to do it. Plus, it's more fun creating together. The resin is ready. Now let's pour it into plastic cups to color it with pigments. We'll have three different hues to make our sea the most realistic as possible. And the last glass. Here we go. Great. Finally, let's make it colorful. <laughs> You're so excited. What color should we make first? Oh, I don't know. It's so hard to pick one. Uh, can we make three at once? Mm, let's take a little bit of this color. We can always add more if needed. Wow, this is the color for the shallow water. Cool. <laughs> and this is the color for the deepest parts of the sea. <laughs> awesome, right? And here comes my favorite Asher color. We'll use it for the middle waters. Check this out. It turns out so beautiful. Holy cannoli, it's like real seawater in a cup. We still need to make the sand color. Do you want to try? Huh, uh, yeah, sure, give it to me. Guys, for the next step, it's better to wear gloves. Up, <laughs> done. So check out this cool color I made. Oh, awesome, Sammy. Let's pour it here. We mixed the resin with some tiny stones and glass bits to make the coast look more realistic. Wow, Sue, it came out so cool! Oh yeah, Sammy, you did a great job with the pigment. The last thing to prepare is an epoxy resin for the white sea waves. Watch closely, guys. Although I'm sure you already got how to mix it, right? 
Sea colors, sand, waves, everything is ready. Let's finally start painting. Yep, all preparations are completed. So what are we gonna do now? Let's start with the sand. Imagine where the coast will be and then pour the resin out. <laughs> it's better to start from the edge of the artboard. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of crunchy peanut butter. <laughs> You can use a popsicle stick to spread the resin evenly on the board. Carefully though, don't rush this way. Give me cheddar, so what? We don't even need any brushes? Yeah, nothing at all. Just use your imagination and the resin will do the rest. <laughs> Let's add some decor to our coastline. I'll use glass fragments. They look like crystals, huh? Wow, coral fragments. Let's start with them, Sue. Okay, here we go. Place them wherever you want. Enough, Sue, enough. Leave some space for other decorations, too. And now let's randomly put some stones this way. I like it. Let's add some more and more! Okay, we're done here. Now let's create the most amazing sea! I'm dead to sea. I'm ready! <laughs> then let's start with the coastal zone. We'll put the lightest blue color here. Pour it carefully. Don't rush. All right, use less resin when you move to the middle. Like this. Don't be afraid and just have fun. So let's use the next color. I want to see how they'll blend together. Then it's time for this one. <laughs> Here we go. Don't be afraid if the colors mix together. It'll create the most beautiful gradient effect. Pour it slowly and enjoy the process. It's like a meditation. Very relaxing, I should say. So it's time for the most intense blue color. Let's pour this color out. Oh, we moved to the deepest part of the sea. doesn't have those clear lines. Can we fix that? Yes. We need a simple popsicle stick for that. Okay, watch this. This way. What do you say now, Sammy? Does it look better? Way better. I love how the colors blend together. So the sandy beach and the sea are done. Check out this amazing view. Ah, uh, it's like I feel the sun's warmth and the sea breeze. Oh, where's my sunscreen? Sammy, it's too early to relax. We have more things to do, remember? Holy cannoli! Are we gonna place all of that on the painting? Yep, we'll need them a little bit later. So are you gonna rest or are you gonna help me? Of course I'll help slimes. Don't leave friends behind. Huh. Interesting. What is that? Sammy, what are you doing? Did you find some sea treasure? <laughs> Oh, Sue, it's a disaster! I found tiny air bubbles on the surface! Huh? Oh, Sammy, nothing's wrong. We can fix that. What? Well, they can ruin the whole picture! Shiver me, Cheddars! It's not perfect anymore! I'll show you one simple trick to get rid of the bubbles. Guys, you better ask an adult to help you. Take the torch and start moving it fast above the artboard. Like this. See? 
Wow, the bubbles disappeared. I didn't believe it until I saw it with my own eyes. I brought the hair dryer as you asked here. I have no idea how it can help you, though. <laughs> You'll see. It's another popular trick in resin art. Let's pour some resin here near the shore. And in the middle. Whoosh. And here. <laughs> All righty. Now take the hair dryer and start carefully blowing on the waves we drew. Guys, ask an adult to help you with this part. The airflow will be hot. Guys, to make the waves more realistic, place the hair dryer above and at an angle to the artboard. This way. Holy cannoli, it looks like the real sea blow more still! Wow, these waves are even better than I imagined! You know what can make this art perfect? I can guess, but seems like you want to show me yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Seashells! Let's bring them on the shore! Okay, I'll start with this shell. I want to place it here. Yeah, nice, nice. But, uh, it'll look better on the other side. <laughs> then I'll put this one right in the middle. Now, now, Sue, put it back where you took it from. I <sighs> see, me. We're never gonna finish. Look, you make the right side, and I'll make the left. Deal. Let's do this. Now let's give the resin time to dry. 